If you're wondering how to move Tron to a Ledger Nano S wallet, watch this video. Hi, Gary Cruz here. For those new to my channel, I make crypto tutorials for everyday people. Ever since I created the tutorial on how to buy Ripple with Coinbase, I've been getting a few altcoins from the Binance referral system. On a side note, looking at my referrals gives me a good idea on what people are buying. I don't want to keep these on Binance, so I'll move them to my ledger. Since this will be my first time moving Tron to my ledger, I figured I'd make a video for those who may be wondering how to do it too. In doing my research on these coins, many of them are using the ERC20 token standard, which works on the Ethereum network. Since Tron is an ERC20 token, I think I'll just try sending a few directly to my Ethereum address. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We'll go to Tron, click on withdrawal. Now I need to get my address here. So let's load up my wallet. Let me log into my pin. I'll navigate to Ethereum and I need to set this so that browser support is no and go back. And now my Ethereum wallet's open. Let's switch to my Ethereum wallet and click on receive. And I'll copy this address. Let's paste my wallet in here. I'll put 600. Let me double check the wallet address. And the reason why you want to double check it is because there's some virus programs that can dynamically rewrite the address. So I'll check the first three, zero X three, zero X three. And the ending numbers is four zero six. And let's go ahead and submit that. Do my two factor authentication. Confirm my email. My withdrawal has been successfully confirmed and I can track it on the deposit withdrawal history page. So let's head back to the deposit withdrawal history page. Click on history. It says it's processing. Let's see how long this will take. While that's processing, I'll check my address on my Ether wallet, sometimes referred to as MEW. It has more features than the Ledger client, and we can view all our ERC-20 tokens. Keep in mind that this is a little more advanced for some users, and please use this as a guide and not rely on this video as your only source, and any actions you take are your responsibility. If you got your Ledger Nano S handy, you might want to start with the FAQ on the top right of my description. In my other videos, I said that you don't store any coins on the Ledger Nano S, all your coins will be on the blockchain. The Ledger Nano S simply holds your private key securely and can sign the transactions. Your wallet is in the cloud. Both these wallets just provide an interface to the blockchain, just like your email clients provide an interface to your email in the cloud. To begin, let's go into the Ethereum app. Click the two buttons on the top. Go to settings and Turn on browser support. Once that's on, go to your browser, go to myetherwallet.com, click on send ether and tokens. And how would you like to access your wallet? And we'll select the ledger wallet and let's connect to it. We can ignore the top here since we've selected the ledger ETH derivation path. Now we'll select our address and unlock our wallet. Okay, so we can send Ether and tokens. You can see the two, the amount send, the gas limit. And let's scroll down and take a look at all the tokens. So show all tokens. Let's scroll down and take a look at Tronix. Click on to load. And you can see that my 500 Tron has showed up here. 
One thing you'll notice is that the address is the same on both the client app for the ledger and also on the browser uh, for my Ether wallet. So the easiest thing to do is if you had this already handy from your Ether wallet. Okay, from the deposits and withdrawals page on Binance, click on withdraw. We'll paste our eth Ethereum address here. We'll paste in the max and we'll see a transaction fee of 100 Tronics and we get a total of 15,405.499 Tronics. And let's go ahead and submit that. Let's put in my Google Authenticator code. Switch over to Authy. All right. An email has been sent. Once that email has been confirmed, let's head back over to my Ether wallet and refresh this page. Head over to the Ledger wallet. Click the blue connect to Ledger wallet. And to double check, let's switch over to browser support. Click on yes. Click on the blue connect to Ledger wallet. Then we'll select the address that we're connecting to. You have to at least have one ETH in there so that it can pay for gas. Unlock the wallet. And we can see our token balance now has 15,905.499 of Tronics. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the notification button so you'll be notified of any new tutorials I make. So these videos are my first time of actually doing these transactions. I don't claim to be an expert, but hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and from going through my steps so that you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. I appreciate you watching and have a happy new year. Thank you. Bye-bye.